So I made a couple of marks on here where I think I want them to sit. And then I basically made a piece of cardboard, six and a half inches times nine and three eighths. I drew a center line and taped it on there. And I think you can tell this one's still just a tad bit longer than this one, but honestly, I already cut a half inch off of that. So it looks straight to me and that's all I care about. Now I'll make the clamps. I did these at a 45. Let's see if that works. Looks like they might have to be bent a little bit more, but I kind of just want these to be in the proper position. Hi there. And uh, um, use this as a reference because it's the only thing you're going to see. So might as well be straight. All right. I think I like where this is going. Uh, I took these mounts, if you can tell up here, and I just put them straight back instead of angling towards that, which was my first uh, inclination, but then I put some normal nuts on them just to kind of tighten them, get them into position. And remember I bent these 7 eighths of an inch down, 45 degrees, and uh, I think that's pretty much in the ballpark. This one obviously is a little shorter because the ass end of the engine is over this way by like three quarters of an inch. So this is just shy of an inch gap for the hose. So I think I'm going to trim like maybe three eighths or five sixteenths off of each one of those to make those the same. Then here, I'm kind of liking this. So it gives it a lot of left and right stability that will be up and down and it lines up just underneath the clamp. Uh, remember we have the older style with the clamped oil cooler and I would have to cut these quite short to, to do that, but I think I think that's okay. I kind of like the way that, that lines up. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull these off. I put some tape on here because I really like the position that the exhaust is in. I'm gonna drill these holes, which will align it. I know we always have the ball joints to you know, fine tune it. Uh, anyway, I put the tape on here and then I put that metal bar over there and hopefully mark like top dead center of the, the pipe. So I'm gonna clamp these guys on, drill that hole, and piece by piece get it into position. So yep, that's my center mark. That's where those guys are going. And now, yeah, I took those off. I was gonna drill these holes. I'm like, well, while I have those off, I might as well drill the EGT holes, which I had already marked. I think I said two inches down and like three quarters over from a stud. And we're also doing an oil system. So starting to think about that. And I got all these different instructions between the exhaust EGT and the oil injector. They're simple. It's just, uh, I don't like reading instructions, but the short of it is that uh, these uh, should be minimum of two inches down. So I'm trying to get this one just before the bend. I think I'll put the oil injector just after the bend at like three and a half inches. And they come from here, so I got to kind of run lines this way. It's not going to interfere with the with the spark plug on that side. And then they say to run it through the most exhaust length. And they say the front cylinders, but I'm guessing that's because usually these two are tied together and those two are tied together. But the longest exhaust is going to be one and four. So that's why I'm going with the oil injectors. Time to drill some holes in stainless. All right, since there's too many holes that need to be drilled for me to all comprehend at once and I didn't want to mess them up, I drilled this one. That's a quarter inch hole that the uh, pin goes in from the uh, pin clamp. Then two of the cylinders are going to get the smoke. So I did that because I figured that's less important. That's a quarter inch hole, but it needs to be clean because this seats itself on it. Then you need to tighten this to this injector and uh, it does not fit tight in here. You just have to make sure that these lines remain parallel to the exhaust pipe or perpendicular to the clamp, which puts the spray pattern this way, not that way in the exhaust. That's what you want. And you want it to be below the EGT. So I was kind of focusing on those. I also cut about yay much off of this clamp because it was kind of sticking out real ugly. So working on this and um, 
I drilled uh, this hole with a 32, then reamed it out to a 30, and it still doesn't fit, but I'm gonna ream it a little more, but I think uh, Tony was saying to do a 29, or somebody said that, so I might upsize it, but I think I'm gonna practice on the little piece I cut off first, because uh, just wanna make sure that's it. Agreeably, uh, the 29 hole fits very tight and you can get it in. If I drilled out with a uh, reamed out to a 30, I can't get it in. I don't know. Uh, okay, I think I'll do the 29. That seems to be a safe bet. The 29 hole gives you a good tight fit. Um, I torqued it down to 35 with the 30 and it didn't go in, even over reaming it a little bit. Um, if anybody cares, I cut off four and three quarter inches off of this uh, strap, and you leave like two inches of the, the threaded part, which equates to actually like 20 of those little thread grooves. All right, time to do the other side. question why did this first one take five hours and the second one took like 20 minutes but uh, I think the answer is simple once you have everything marked checked double checked which direction how far down read the instructions read the instructions for the oil injection read the instructions for the EGT read the instructions for the exhaust read the instructions for the, uh, the plane measure check double check triple check clean prep do everything yeah, it's pretty quick. I think the next plane I can probably build in 200 hours. So I think before I put the uh, mufflers and the brackets on, I am going to rivet my exit fairing and you're also supposed to seal inside there. I haven't done that yet. So I'm going to do that first. All right. I'm kind of glad that that is done. It's been on my to-do list ever since I built the fairing. I honestly was just too lazy to look up what rivets go in there, but it turns out they have those AVEX rivets that go everywhere. So. One thing checked off, back to the exhaust. So this top one kind of fell into place. I'm good with that. One thing I don't like is how it kind of interferes with the, the heater hose, but I have to snake that through there. Um, this one here I was struggling with a little bit. I toyed with the idea of just going to the cooler bracket, but uh, that didn't really work out. So I actually just made it one. And the way I did that is, I don't know if you can see this, but I marked the angle that it's supposed to be, and then just put it in the vise. 
crushed it, drilled a hole. If this doesn't work, I still have the other end. I can cut them in half and put the rubber boot in. Um, I'm assuming, hoping that the Adele clamp here with the rubber gasket takes up enough of that vibration um, to not need the, the rubber hose. But uh, I'm gonna go with that for now. Well, I would say that's a productive day. Got all the sensors, the oil injectors mounted. Got the exhaust on. I don't have anti-seize on there yet. I ordered some, I got it uh, coming. So these are just a little snug. Got all of these brackets figured out. Um, this is the one I was talking about that I kind of just made solid. That's working out pretty good. And I think I kind of figured out, remember earlier when I was saying that these two are not symmetrical? Well, I think they take into consideration that this one sits back further than this one, and they actually bend it at a steeper angle. So right now, I did spread them apart a little bit more. I think there's like 10 and a half inches or, or something like that. And uh, that was my, my target to just kind of be, <clears throat> it looks like the angle is the same from here. And the angle is very close from here. If you look closely, this one's a little steeper for the reasons I just said. Also got this all riveted in and uh, yeah, actually pretty excited. Probably gonna play with how I can get the heater hoses through here or maybe look into getting the offset one. But um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I'll end that video here. So before it gets too long, thanks for watching. Happy building, hope it helps somebody. And uh, by all means, this is uh, uh, just me doing it my way. If there's anything that I'm doing wrong, please let me know. That's kind of why I'm posting a lot of this stuff to get get feedback and uh, and help other people. But um, thank you. Good night.